In this video, we are asked to find uh, the component of the forces. We are given four forces, F1, F2, F3, and F4. And they are give, these forces are given by their direction and magnitude. Now, before we do this with the forces, let's do it with the vector. Because remember, a force is a vector. So if we can uh, find the component of a vector, we can do it for the forces. We can apply it for the forces. Now, here is a vector V with an angle, now let angle theta, the angle from the positive, from the positive x-axis to the uh, vector itself, this is the vector, and let's assume that the, uh, the starting point of the vector is, the er is at the origin, and this is the end point of the vector. Now when we project the end point on the x-axis here, this is our vx, when we project it on the y-axis, on the y-axis, this gives me my vy here. vx and vy are called the components of the vector. Now vy can be also found here. This is also equal to vy. Now, uh, some basic trigonometry sine of theta is equal sine of theta is equal to the opposite side now this is the definition of the sine opposite divided by the hypotenuse now the opposite to theta is vy now the uh, the hypotenuse the hypotenuse is going to be the length of this vector now the length of the vector is uh, noted as follows is the length or the magnitude if you want and then here, this is the hypotenuse, we put the length of the vector, or the magnitude. Now, this can be written as Vy is equal to the magnitude of V multiplied by the sine of theta. So, this is the formula for the Y component. This is a Y here, yeah? Good. Now let's do the cosine of theta. The cosine of theta by definition is the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. Here is theta, here is the adjacent side. It's the, uh, the component along x, it's Vx. Now the hypotenuse, the hypotenuse is the magnitude, the length of the vector, which is this. So again, th the magnitude of V. And this gives me Vx equal to the magnitude of V multiplied by the cosine of theta. So this is the component along x. Now, Vy and Vx, this is are, these are the formulas we are going to use to answer the questions. Now, we are going to find the component of F1, F2, F3, and F4. Now, this is F1 on its own. Now, what we are going to do is find the component of the force F1. Now, the component along x, we call it F1x. And according to the formula here, we take the magnitude, which is 20, and we multiply it by the cosine, the cosine of theta, which is the angle from the x-axis to the vector. Cosine, 40 degrees. Um, F1y, so this is the y component of the force F1, this time along the y-axis, and this is given by the sine of 40 degrees. So we just applied the formula, this one here and this one here, and um, using a calculator, this will be 15.32, uh, and this will be 12.86. Now, it makes sense because the vector F1, or the force F1, is in quarter 
is in quadrant one and both components must be positive which makes sense good now let's go to f2 now in f2 here is the magnitude however we are given an angle which is not the angle from the x-axis to uh, to the uh, vector so let's go and find it we need to find this vector remember we need the vector coming from the x-axis to the vector so how do you find this vector now we know that from here to here is 180 this is from here to here it's 180 if we subtract 71 we will have our theta so theta is equal 180 degrees minus 71 degrees and that gives me 109 degrees once we have the theta now we go and find the um, the component so the component of force f2 let's call them f2x and f2y so this is going to be the magnitude the magnitude is 27 multiply by the cosine of theta theta is 109 degrees this one here is 27 sine 109 degrees approximately using a calculator f2x is negative 8.79 and the f2y it's 25.3 now the x component is negative it makes sense now the x component is negative it makes sense because the, our vector our vector is in quadrant two in a quadrant two the x is negative so the component of x along x is negative however the component of y along the y is positive which makes sense now let's go to let's go to f3 now f3 the we again we need the angle again from the x-axis to the vector so we need this angle now we are given this angle here 75 degrees so we know that from here to here we have got three quadrants or 270 degrees again from here so 90 90 and the 90 up to here do 270 degrees so theta theta is equal to 270 degrees all this minus 75 minus 75 degrees and that's going to be 195 degrees okay good now so we go and find the component of f3 let's put f3 here now we call them of course f3 x and f3 y so f3 now the magnitude the magnitude is 40 so it's 40 cosine cosine 195 degrees and this one is 40 sine 100 and 95 degrees uh, we go to the calculator so using a calculator we end up with f3x f3y approximated uh, thir negative 38 negative 10 uh, it makes sense because the vector f3 or the force f3 is in quadrant number three where the component both of them must be negative now let's go to now we go to f4 so this is f4 and we are going to find the component remember always we need to find now the the magnitude is given now we need to find the angle remember the angle from the x-axis to the vector itself to here good now so here we have 90 degrees plus 90 plus 270 plus 60 here so this is theta and our theta is equal to again 190 90 90 that's 270 270 degrees plus plus 60 degrees now this is very important the angle is very important 
I repeat, from the x-axis to the vector, you go 90, 90, and 90, that's 270 plus 60, and that gives you 330 degrees. So F for X, the component along the X axis, is going to be the magnitude, 60, cosine of theta, 330, approximately equal. We will do it with the calculator in, in a moment. And the uh, Y component is 60 sine of 330 degrees. Now, using the calculator, the Fx is 51.98, uh, 96. And then the Y component, the Y component is equal to negative 30. Now, always, always examine the sign of the component now. You are here in this quadrant, so the X component is positive, it makes sense. And the Y component is negative, it makes sense. So the most important thing, the most important part in this video is to remember um, the formula. In fact, you can find it here. This is how we did it. And the most important thing is that the angle theta is from the X axis to the vector. It depends on what they give you, the information they give you. But always find the angle uh, from the x-axis to the vector, which in trigonometry is called the angle in standard position.